Hi, this is Tom McMillan with the Lead One Bite of the Week. Since Title IX passed in 1972, the number of women athletes in college sports has increased from 30,000 back then to 193,000 today. A big success. What is not well known is that Title IX has not been good for women coaches and administrators. When Title IX was passed, women coach 90% of women's teams at the college level. Today, that figure has dropped to 43%. And there are a lot of reasons for this decline. As more money has gone into women's sports, women's coaching jobs have become more attractive for men's coaches. In addition, the consolidation of men and women's athletic departments have decreased the number of jobs in women's college athletics. And one of the unintended consequences of Title IX has been the increased litigation in federal courts where female college coaches and administrators sue their universities for sex discrimination. This litigation has been fueled by a 2005 Supreme Court decision, Jackson versus Birmingham Board of Education, which ruled that Title IX covers retaliation due to complaints over sex discrimination. As a result, since the Supreme Court decision, 29 female coaches and eight female sports administrators have filed retaliation lawsuits against their universities. Because Title IX sets no limits on the amount of money damages that a plaintiff may be awarded, these lawsuits often settle for significant monetary damages, sometimes in the millions of dollars. In fact, since 2005, our schools have spent approximately $50 million on these settlements. And in fact, one school has spent $19 million on such a settlement. Beware the red light is flashing. It is critically important that college athletic departments be very careful in making personnel changes. In many cases, female coaches and administrators are terminated in full compliance with their contract, but nevertheless, sizable judgments are still being awarded in these cases. And even the traditional separation agreements may no longer be relevant. To paraphrase Shakespeare for our athletic department, instead of let's kill all the lawyers, it should be God save the lawyers. That's our bite of the week.